She was sexually assaulted when she was 18 years old, and then she was silenced by a court-ordered publication ban. Since then, Morell Andrews has been fighting for all sexual assault survivors to be given a choice on whether they would like to speak out. And she just may be close to accomplishing what many others have been trying to do for years. I couldn't talk about my own experience, and that is the most crushing thing to be told. You can't talk about it, and if you do, you can be fined $5,000 or go to jail, even for two years. Morell Andrews didn't ask for a publication ban. She only found out one was put in place to protect her privacy when her abuser, a 64-year-old man, pled guilty, and she wanted to share her victim impact statement. She was told she couldn't. Fundamentally, this is a discussion about consent. Um, and sexual offenses, the nature of the crime is that consent has been taken away from a person. And when the legal system also turns around and takes, you know, essentially the consent um, of someone when it comes to using their voice to speak about the harm and the abuse that they've experienced, it is another victimization. It took weeks for Andrews to get the publication ban lifted. The offender's lawyer tried to fight it, arguing it should be permanent. Andrews vowed to push for change. Since 2021, she has been working with other women who were also fighting publication bans. They gathered about 5,000 signatures on this petition that just closed. Andrews has also been meeting with MPs and senators. And in October, she spoke before a standing committee in Ottawa. Begging for my right to speak was humiliating and the court dignifying the offender with an opportunity to argue why I should permanently silence permanently be silenced was infuriating dehumanizing and traumatizing I told myself to remember what it felt like to be shattered by the legal system and that one day for myself and for the others I've met and for those who would come after us that I would try to do something about it those powerful words had an impact. The Justice Committee in the House of Commons agreed with me um, after I testified, that, and they said this section of the criminal code that deals with publication bans for sexual offenses should be changed. Your ask is pretty simple. You want a crown to discuss whether or not the victim, the complainant, would like a publication ban or not and give them the choice. Mm -hmm, exactly. And not only that, but, you know, make sure that when a publication ban is ordered on the name of a victim or a complainant, that they receive information about what it means, how to comply with it, and how to lift it if they want to. Morell Andrews says publication bans can be helpful to some survivors. She believes, though, that all women should be able to make the choice for themselves. She's getting support from all federal parties, and she hopes there could be legislative change in the next few months.